Let's day of Sunday. Right. Starting with something that's not stout, but it's something that I've always been uh, a consumer of. Um, and it's a uh, American brown ale. Yeah. But my consumption's always been on the UK level. So, because my mom and pa both are uh, northern, so we've got Geordie and we've got Scottish in the mix, brown ale for me has got a bit of a special place in my heart because when I was a teenager and in my early 20s when I was going up there, um, a lot of my drinking was in working men's clubs and so on. So, you've got your obvious um, Nuki brown. Uh, now, Everybody that I knew up in the neck of the woods where I was drinking um, sort of looked down on uh, Nuki Brown Ale and they saw it as being a bit of an impure. Uh, they, they, thought, they thought it was full of shite, uh, basically. But the original brewers of Nuki Brown Ale um, was the Federation Brewery and then they got brought up by Scottish and Newcastle and I don't, I don't know who they ended up being consumed by, but basically Federation Brewery no more. Um, Federation used to do, obviously after they passed over Newcastle Grey Nail, their own brown ale, and they used to do another thing called Scotch. Um, and both of them things, for me, because um, I drank bitter as well, um, it, it's a lot sharper on the back end when you're tasting it, um, but very nice drink. So this is intriguing me, because it is American, so I don't know what the difference is between an American brown ale and a UK brown ale. The other interesting thing with this is it's one of these Stormtrooper ones. So I know these have they've had a bit of uh, press recently um, because obviously there's the uh, trademark and all that lot. There must have been a big deal for that. Um, all of these are brewed actually by vocation, Edmund Bridge and so on. So. Um, that's interesting as well because I think vocation are great for doing your mainstays and stuff so I'm interested to see what it's like. It's lovely artwork, great artwork, it's got a bit of the old uh, shepherd theory about it and also you know good cartoon elements on it as well so yeah we'll give it a blast and uh, see what it's like. So it's only 330ml, got these for father's day from my lovely daughter, my oldest Jenna. So we'll give it a pour, see what we think. It's been a long time since I've had a brown ale as well. So. Carbonation is very lively. Lots of bubbles in the head. Not what you'd expect when you're getting it on cask. Which is what I was doing when it was UK ones. Okay, bit of beefy head, lovely brown, bit of ruby in the colour, like I say there's shit loads of fizz isn't that, a lot of fizz. Right, give it a sniff, I'm expecting loads of malt in this. Oh yeah, it's got quite a smoky smell to it as well. Malty, smoky, leathery. Almost a bit of tobacco in the smell. That? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Give it a go. It's not been fridged this either. Oh, bloody hell. It's very nice. It's got a lovely depth of flavour. There's definitely a lot of fizz in there in comparison to something you get off cast. But it's light. It, the fizz is light on your tongue. It's not it's not like you're drinking like a summer lager or stuff like that. I'm quite glad I left this to get to room temperature because that might play a part in that. Mm. Yeah, there's a lovely like caramelly type flavour to that. Um
Nice bit of sharpness on the back end. And I don't know if that's to do with the American style, but it does seem as if it's tapered off and it's not as harsh as what you'd normally get when you're getting it off tap. For a brown ale, I know people probably shy away from like, these more traditional styles of beer and that. But that is, that's a cracking drink. Really nice. Lovely, leathery. Yeah, caramel. That's very enjoyable. I'd recommend having a go at that. It is. That's a nice drink, that is. Now, I had, the, I had the West Coast IPA, and I wasn't that impressed by that. It's all right, but I wouldn't go out and get it again. But this, I would get again, because it is it's very nice. And if that's what American brown ales are like, I might dip my toes into that a bit more. So, check it out and give it a go. Peace out.